So we're just being brave today. We have a situation. I'm gonna show you how I do my Brazilian. <laughs> All right, so technically I'm not gonna be showing you how I do my Brazilian. You're just gonna kind of see this part up. Now, disclaimer, I am gonna be talking about the female anatomy. So if you do not like adult words, like the word vagina, you should probably click off of this video because it's not for you. Let's get started. First and foremost, as usual, you wanna make sure that you are clean. Why is that important? Because uh, the groin, armpits, those areas are high traffic areas for sweat. So after you wax yourself, the follicle is going to be a little vulnerable. So you don't wanna be introducing bad bacteria into your follicles. I did take a shower last night and I'm filming this in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is just use a toner to cleanse that area. So let's do that. Uh, drop and trowel. I should also mention that I'm standing up. So this is the position that I'm gonna be waxing in, but you can do it sitting down. You can do this spread eagle on a toilet. You can also do this laying down in butterfly position with some pillows stacked up behind your back. However, obviously, you're more susceptible to getting sugar on the surface that you're laying on. So if you don't have a table with paper on it, you know, use a towel. Next, we're gonna powder, and I like to basically put some powder onto a um, cotton round or square because it's just easier and you can you know that way you can kind of dab the um, powder onto the area that you need instead of like getting it everywhere you know <laughs> you want to put the powder everywhere you want to put it in your inner thighs on the pubic bone and you also want to put it on the labia or almost everywhere because you don't have to worry about putting this uh, on your behind just yet powder done okay, so we're clean we're powdered we're ready to get started so as you guys probably know you need to go in the opposite direction of your hair growth so the way to figure out what your hair growth pattern is is obviously to take a mirror and look at your purse but if that is not easy for you to do then what you can do is just take your hands so take your fingers more specifically and just lightly run them over your skin the direction that you feel the most resistance meaning your hair feels like it's standing up that's the direction that you want to apply your sugar in because the hair pattern doesn't tend to be drastically different from woman to woman usually kind of grows in the same direction so i'll let you guys know which direction i'm going in and you can use that as you know a rule of thumb or something i don't know so i'm taking uh this is my strip wax fortunately i don't have any um big popsicles so i'm going to be using these smaller ones so now what i'm going to do is put blade on a stool i'm sweating so i'm going to powder again so it's up to you where you want to start i'm going to start on the inner thigh so basically i'm not waxing my vagina yet i'm just going slightly outside the perimeter so i can prepare myself for the shock my wax is applied now i'm going to take a strip i'm putting that on top of the entire area i'm going to hold my inner thigh Hopefully you guys can see like my shoulder action here. I'm going to pull the skin back like this and then I'm going to pull the uh, strip forward and down. Take a deep breath. You wanna breathe in and then pull as you breathe out. If I had to give you a scale of one to 10, it would be like a three. And just in case you're curious, there's my strip. All right, let's go for the next one. After you do the inner thighs, you can now work your way in. Some people like to go straight to the labia because it's right there. But if your hair is kind of dense here, then I might say go to the pubic bone first. Pubic bone or like, you know, your pubis. That's the little triangle above the business, which when you're standing is that little V-shape of joy. So unfortunately my camera just died. So that's what I did. And now's the time that you want to decide if you want to go completely bare or if you want to leave like a landing strip or a little triangle in this area and then start to work stacking in all the way to the center. So I started to do that off of camera and right now you'll notice that my diagram has a little bit of hair left at the very bottom of that triangle and it's a very good reason for that which I will explain later. So the top is not completely bare right now. So now I'm going to do the lace Labia. The outer labia or the labia majora is the fleshier parts on either side of your inner thigh but not yet closest to your actual vagina. Inner labia or your labia minora is actually the lips. So those are protecting the opening of your vagina. So if you guys do suffer from things like yeast infections or you just want to make sure that you don't get any sugar inside of your purse, don't worry too much because it's actually more difficult than you think to do that. The reason that the inner anatomy is there it protects it but if you are someone who doesn't have much of a lip what you can do is take either the fleshier part of your palm or the inside of your
your hand and kind of lay it there so that you're not allowing any sugar to enter into your body. So I have switched over to a soft wax. However, I've heated this up until it's like kind of thin, pretty runny. And I microwaved this for 40 seconds total. I did it in 20 second increments so that it wouldn't get too hot. I'm gonna spread it on the lower part of the labia. Again, hold the skin taut. I'm pulling back. Oh yeah, nice and dense. I cannot believe I'm showing you guys this, but look, see all of those roots? That pain was like a three. If there's just like too much stickiness or something on your skin, then what you can do is kind of take a baby wipe and wipe the area and then repowder. So this is the reason why I saved this section for last. So now we've got a shape that looks a little something like this. And this is what I call dog ears. The reason I like to save the dog ears for last or the bang, because we are so close to the hood of the clitoris, this area is going to hurt the most. I'm going to apply the sugar in an upward direction on the outer labia and on an angle on the very top of the pubis. Also, I ordered numbing cream specifically for this area and it hasn't arrived yet, so we're just, we're just being brave. Deep breath in and then as you pull, exhale. Also, you have to pull like you mean it, okay? Like don't be a whip about it. Just commit and yank the shit out of it because if you don't, you're gonna regret it. Another reason that this area is really painful too is because the hair tends to be really dense here. Look at all that. Then for the back, you're just going to again put your leg on a stool, hold the cheek, spread the sugar, pull the skin taut, and then rip down. Then as a last step, you're just going to take your witch hazel, wipe down, and then I use my DIY balm. At this point, you shouldn't really have pain. However, you might notice a slight tingling sensation on your skin. If you touch the area, it can feel a little bit sore. I can tell you right now, mine's always does. That is it. I'm kind of bummed that my numbing cream didn't come in time because I really wanted to see if there was a difference that I could communicate that to you guys. So I don't know, maybe I will save that for another video. If that's something that you guys want to see to see if it really helps with the pain, just let me know in the comments and I will see you next week. Bye. I can't believe I did that.